Okay guys, welcome. Today we are starting a new segment. We are jumping into Adcash, which is our uh, the next ad publisher I guess we're going to look at. We're going to check out the CPM on their, uh, their ads. We're going to put them into our WordPress website. Now this doesn't work with Blogger because you need an actual website. So they're not going to accept your blogger website, but they will accept your WordPress website, even if you have low traffic. So this, if you have low or no traffic, this is something to look at. Now, the types of ads they serve are pop-unders, interstitials, native ads, banners, and push notifications. Today, we're going to be looking at pop-unders. We're going to see what the CPM is. We're going to put it into our web page. We're going to see what it looks like and uh, we'll go from there. So let's start by uh, going to our ad cache. As you can see, I already have my uh, my website is already, uh, I guess they already approved it. So we're going to add a zone, which takes us to zones. We're going to add a pop under. So JavaScript tag or direct link. We're going to create a JavaScript tag unless you want to create a direct link that goes into that. So I don't know if you need to do both steps. Okay, it says here, in case you do not want to monetize such traffic, please note that you do not need to execute steps two. So that's exactly what I thought. Copy the JS code and place it into the site source code in the body section of your website before the closing body tag. So we're just going to put it in our specific web page where we want it. So here we have my web page, and I have this cute little area here where I'm going to put the code. It's just an HTML tag. You could uh, add one too. I update it and this is how to add an HTML code if you need to. You click on these nine dots up here. You could just type in HTML and you see here and you could bring it into wherever you want. You could place it anywhere you want on the website. You put the code in and it will be a pop-up. I deleted it because I already have one here. We're going to update it again and uh, we're going to see if this works. All right, guys. So. We're concluding the ad cache pop unders and see what uh, the income we got was. So let's go see what the pop unders look like and what the CPM is for a thousand impressions. So as you could see, I got I got the code in there somewhere. As soon as I click, we're gonna get an ad telling us our download is ready. And that's our ad, guys. Very simple. If you want to see that again. Here's what I'll do. I'll copy the page. I'll open an incognito window and we're back at the page. And as soon as you click, there's our ad guys. Once again, uh, all done. Looks good. Now let's check out the CPM. So I'll refresh this. We only got one view so far, one visit, which was by me. Remember guys, depending on your location, you'll get different results. I'm in Canada, so my eCPM is probably going to be higher than most countries, unless it's like United States and there's other countries that are higher CP, higher, higher CPM. So in AdCash, you could see that my CPM for my one visit for my pop under was $11.56, which isn't bad at all, guys. AdCash might be a good place to look into if you're looking to monetize your website or your WordPress blog or anything. And the ads are, remind me of this, it reminds me of propeller ads a little bit. But besides that, the you can't be mad at the pop-unders. They're definitely delivering from what I could see here. So once again, guys, the CPM for a pop-under for MadCash, if you're getting visitors from Canada, Remember, your, where your visitors are from is very important. But average eCPM is $11.50 per 1,000 viewers. So that's uh, AdCash, guys. That is the pop-unders.
If you want to see more AdCash, check out my next videos on the playlist. I will leave all links in description. Check out my, uh, my profile and consider subscribing, guys. Till the next one. Cheers.